Hi, I'm Katie with Dashing Dish, and at Dashing Dish, I'm all about teaching you how to create healthy alternatives to the food you crave. So today, I'm going to teach you some of my favorite ways to make entertaining, healthy, but still delicious and fun, and a crowd pleaser, because ultimately, that's what's most important. So I don't know about you, but sometimes when I go to parties, I almost dread what's going to be served as far as food goes. You know, you look at the table and you think, oh my gosh, it's all these fried food and just cheeses and crackers. What am I actually going to eat and you know feel good after I've left this party? So a great way to handle that is to bring a dish to pass along and this is one of my favorite tips is just to bring a healthy dish that everybody will love. So today I'm going to show you how to make deviled eggs because whether it's the holidays or a party or really any type of gathering you're going to, I find that deviled eggs are always a hit. So here we have just some hard boiled eggs. And a really good tip on hard boiling your eggs and then peeling them easily because, let's face it, that's usually the hardest part, is you boil them in a pot of water for about eight to 10 minutes until they're completely hard boiled. And then you just dump them directly into a bowl with ice water in it. And that just allows the eggs to peel right off. I mean, they slide off, it's so easy. So we hard boiled some eggs and we have six eggs total here for this recipe, but you could always double it. And I just cut um, half of them just directly in half lengthwise. And I disposed of the yolks. I just saved them in the fridge for later and you can you know, mix them up for an egg salad later. But we take out those egg yolks because that cuts even the calories in half. So we're gonna use the egg yolks in these eggs. And all I do is I'm just cutting them in half lengthwise. And we are going to use these, like I said, because you do need a little bit of yolk in the filling. I think that makes it a little bit um, more rich and it also just helps them taste like traditional, you know, deviled eggs. So here is the yolks that we're gonna use and we'll just put these into a medium sized bowl. And you wanna be a little bit, you know, careful, a little bit gentle with this just to make sure you don't break the egg white because you're going to refill these egg whites and if you don't get it cleaned out perfectly that's okay usually they typically just kind of pop right out but I'm doing this a little bit quick today so we're not going to worry about it being perfect because we will fill them back up so you won't even notice so we have the egg uh, yolks in the bowl and again we just have three of the egg yolks and then a little tip to kind of replace that creamy texture from the egg yolks that we you, you know, saved for later is just some hummus. So we have hummus here, and you can use any kind of hummus. This is just traditional classic hummus. And we're gonna do six tablespoons, which really is just a fourth cup if you were to measure it, a fourth cup and two tablespoons. But I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it for six tablespoons here. And it's not baking, so it doesn't have to be perfect. With baking, you wanna do an exact science, but with cooking, you can kind of eyeball it according to your taste. So you're gonna uh, kind of stir that together and you can see how creamy that gets. So what um, replacing the egg yolks does is with the hummus is it adds that creaminess, like I said, back to the filling and no one will even know what's in there. And it also adds a little bit of protein and fiber. So it makes it a little bit better for you. And then Greek yogurt is gonna be the next secret ingredient for this. So Greek yogurt is basically just um, yogurt that's really high in protein. And even if you don't like the taste of Greek yogurt, you won't even know it's in here. Really, this replaces mayonnaise that's in a traditional deviled egg recipe. And this just calls for three tablespoons of Greek yogurt. So I'm just gonna kinda eyeball that as well. And then I'm just gonna do a pinch of salt and pepper and really you could add any kind of seasonings you want. Um, we have onion powder here, you could do garlic powder, you could do any kind of seasonings to kind of make this your own. You could even do, I know for hummus there's um, like jalapeno hummus, there's sun-dried tomato hummus, so you could add any kind of hummus. And you'll see once this is all stirred together, it looks just like a traditional deviled egg filling. So you, again, you wouldn't even know that these are a little bit on the healthier side. And it's really um, cutting the calories in half. So no one would know, and you know that you're bringing a healthy dish to pass. So you can feel good about 
serving it and also eating it. And then to make these really pretty, because that's really the important part when it comes to deviled eggs, is I take a Ziploc bag and I kind of stick my hand in there and then I fit, put the filling, and you can do this with any frosting or anything that you're um, trying to you know, pipe on that, to make it look pretty and easy. I put the filling directly into the Ziploc bag, like this, kind of on my hand. And then I turn it inside out and then squeeze it down into one of the corners. And again, you can do this with anything that you're trying to pipe. And you have your own piping bag. And then I'm gonna just cut the tip off of that corner. And then we're gonna fill some of these egg whites. And see how pretty that looks? And you could even do, um, the piping bags sometimes come with like a metal tip. So you could have like a pretty design. So you could put the metal tip right in the corner of that um, Ziploc bag there. And you can see how beautiful. So we're, I'm gonna go ahead and just fill the rest of these. It takes just a second. And see it has that nice creamy yellow color to it. And then um, I would continue on and just finish the rest of these. And you can see that the finished product is plated up right here on this plate. And look how beautiful they look just on a nice serving dish. And then you could add some dried chives or maybe some crisp bacon on top so that when you bring them to the party, everyone says, wow, those look good. And again, this is just an optional topping. But look how good those look. And again, healthy alternative to the food you crave. So everybody loves deviled eggs. It's a healthier alternative. And I can guarantee this will be sure to please a crowd. So to get this recipe and more, uh, head over to ctvn.org and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.